Hey, this is Stephen Platinum, your friend in wrestling with Platinum versus SmackDown. This was from New Year's Day. What can you say? January 1st, 2021. Boy, I'm going to have to take a little while to get used to that. Um, I'm recording this right outside of my front door, sitting in a chair. It's a beautiful Florida day. Um, how was this show? Overall, pretty great. Um, last week's was maybe the best show that SmackDown put on all year, um, just in terms of flow, continuity, um, keeping people interested, um, payoff at the end, all of that stuff. So pretty great. Um, this one kind of continues in that, really advances the Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns thing, which uh, am I personally thrilled that they're continuing this thing? Not really, but they got to do what they got to do. They're trying to get themselves to Royal Rumble. I understand that as well. So we got a graphic in memory of Brody Lee, Luke Harper, John Huber. Um, really great. I'm going to probably address this idea of whether the WWE did enough. I think it's kind of a silly notion, but it does sort of it's more symptomatic of an underlying problem, I think, in wrestling um, that I'm going to address. But for now, let's take a look. We've, we've got we've got Kevin Owens. Um, we got Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, though, is speaking first, undoubtedly, and Roman Reigns is talking about you know. He's the man, he's the tribal chief, all that kind of good stuff. Um, the long and short of it, he's helped Jay Uso's career tremendously, has he not? That's his contention. Um, Kevin Owens comes out. That dog would not stop barking, so I came back in the house. <laughs> Kevin Owens. Now I'm not going to interrupt my kid watching a show, so I'm going to go upstairs. So... Kevin Owens basically says he wants a fight. He wants to fight Jey Uso. So it goes. But that match isn't officially made yet, which is a convention of SmackDowns that I actually like, that you can't just make a match happen out of thin air. There has to be some justification for it. So we'll see what they come up with. We got Big E. Ooh. Ah against King, Baron Corbin. It is a non-title match for some reason. Um, the long and short of it is Biggie's going to win. Sammy rushes the ring, breaks it up for the DQ. Um, oh, DQ finish. God damn it. <laughs> so unnecessary, right? But, all right. So Blake and Cutler hit the ring, attack Big E. Um, Cruz, Apollo Cruz comes and helps. Cruz and Biggie stand tall together as so we go to commercial. Then we come back, and uh, Adam Pierce has made this into a tag title match. Eesh, very indie. Big E and Apollo Cruz against Sami Zayn and King Corbin. That match happens. Um, long story short, Cruz gets the win for his team. And immediately I think, oh my god, they're probably going to set up a title match between these guys right away. <laughs> That's what I write in my notes. And we're going to have Bailey and Carmella against Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair. And uh, Otis and Daniel Bryan eesh, against Cesaro and Nakamura. So Adam Pierce is backstage. Kevin Owens walks up. This is a really fun interchange between the two where they're beginning to, where they talk about their past together in other leagues. Kind of great to see, honestly. Um... And then we have uh, Big E that's going to do an open challenge next week. Cruz takes it right away. They're kind of laugh about it, but you could tell there's some tension there. So it goes. Riot Squad against Natalia and Tamina Snuka. This piece of shit. It is what it is. Um, Liv basically small packages. Snuka rolls her up and they win. Ugh. Um, Charlotte Flair and Asuka. We saw them win or retain the uh, women's tag titles over Sasha Banks and 
Bianca Belair, and Carmella and Bailey. So now we're going to have the match. That was a nice little thing to show us why we're seeing Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair against Bailey and Carmella. Um, they did the uh, the finish that they could do to advance things, which is Carmella um, pinning Banks. Pinned her with her move, at least, thank goodness. And so it goes. We're going to get Jey Uso versus Kevin Owens for tonight. We're backstage with Uso, Roman Reigns, and Paul Heyman. He isn't happy, because, Reigns, that is, because he feels like the company is disrespecting him. Um, he tells Heyman to go and find out who doesn't appreciate him. Heyman <laughs> bows to Reigns and walks off. We got the tag champs, the Street Profits, coming down, and we go to commercial. Ugh, hate that convention. So then we come back from the break, and Sonya Deville is backstage walking. They're surprised to see her because she lost a loser leaves WWE match to Mandy Rose. Uh, huh. But she's been reinstated to SmackDown. Okay. Um, Street Profits dance around. <sighs> they remove a black covering and reveal a set of drums. He predicts their Intercontinental title t-shirt will be a top seller in the WWE shop. The I Was Intercontinental Champion t-shirt. Uh, the champs are attacked by Ziggler and Robert Roode. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Ziggler and Rude back away. Wow. Then we come back from the commercial and we see what just happened, which I always think is another weird WWE convention. Um, Kayla asks them why they did it. And they said it's, Ziggler says it's not unprovoked. The Prophets have been provoking them. Uh, and then... Ziggler demands a rematch for the titles, and they won't stop the attacks until they get what they want. Now we have Otis and Daniel Bryan against Cesaro and Nakamura. I mean, it's again Bryan making the most of this thing with his coaching and all of that stuff. Um, basically, long story short, Bryan uh, gets that yes lock, and Nakamura taps out. Whew. Wow. Paul Heyman approaches Roman Reigns and Jey Uso. He blames the match happening on Adam Pearce. He tells Jey to go out there and show him why he's the main event. Uso walks off. Kevin Owens basically crushes him, which is the right move. Um, and after, Owens keeps beating on Uso, demanding that Reigns come out. Reigns does not, but then once Owens sets him up, about about to jump off the platform to put Uso through a table while Uso's cuffed. Reigns meets him and beats him up. Um, he puts him into the LED board, slamming his head into it. Then he just beats him with right hands. Then he picks him up, launches him off, and then uh, Owens goes through that table he was going to splash Uso through. So Reigns is looking down at Owens, who is laid out. Um, kind of meat and potatoes for the modern wrestling crowd. A good show, and SmackDown again is showing, you know, they've got a, a bunch of things moving. It's also a show that tends to run more positively than negatively in terms of the sort of joy and fun of the show. And I think that is to their credit. Granted, it ended in a brutal fashion, but they're continuing to keep Kevin Owens in the mix. And so they have to up the violence factor in order to make that relevant. So I see you. Anyway, um, not a spectacular show in terms of me uh, breaking things down, but there really wasn't a need. It's a SmackDown um, that continued a lot of the good work that they did last time and advanced some things going into uh, the next week. They didn't spend half the show promoting the other half of the show, though they did spend a great deal of it promoting the other half of the show. Ooh, hope they don't slip back into that trap. We shall see, though. Anyway, this is Stephen Platinum, your friend in wrestling with Platinum vs. SmackDown for January 1st, 2021.